Hello and welcome to Costa Nation Fan TV. Huh, it's really, really cold out here, but what can I say? I have to make videos for you people. If you're joining us for the first time, I am Pilo and I am your host. So this is where Kaiser Chiefs fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs Football Club. That's a weird intro, but yes, indeed. So do make sure to leave a comment letting me know what you think about the things that I will say. I'm allowed to have an opinion. I know you have an opinion, so let me know what you think. I'd also like to welcome the returning subscribers, the day one. Shout out to you guys. And today's special shout out goes to Utebo Hopiti No Muzi Lamini. Shout out to you guys. And if I haven't given you a, a, a special shout out and you've been commenting and whatever, please guys, let me know in the comment section. Good hey, man, Kotla, bo. Okay, hashtag man, Kotla. Hashtag man, Kotla. So we'll make this video short and sweet because Gabanda and I don't have a lot of things to talk about. But I have to hear your opinions on these things. Now, in the Vagapatos, right? We talked about it before. There was one minute he's coming back because of family issues. He trains with Cape Town City and then he goes back and then we hear extended his contract by three years. And the next thing we hear, oh no, that didn't happen. Then the next thing we hear, Uguti, he actually now extended his contract by one year with ifulat now i'm starting to think this was just a trick by his agents or whoever is in charge of of his business uh Uguti. they made it seem like uh upatos was available so that all chiefs can can what what's the word can fall for it basically so they were baiting all chiefs and whoever might have wanted him and then we didn't take the bait now with that thing having ha having happened I wonder Guguti Manje, seeing that we have so limited options, uh, what are we going to do? Because Uzuane is insisting, Uguti, we need someone, Ozoba and Styler Soglala, that's identical to every player that we have. Because he's saying the player must fit our style of play. Now, my problem with that, Uguti, obviously I have huge respect for Uzuane, but I'm also allowed to have an opinion. So my thing is, if you have similar players, I know he didn't say you want exactly the same kind of players, but I'm saying if your player that you have, who is striker and Jemo Caleb, can score a goal and just specializes in being on the box and finishing off chances, why not sign such a player? Because who's different from Utupri? Utupri is more mobile. Utupri is running behind a defender. Utupri is going to dribble past defenders. But if you're playing against a team that's playing low block, by low block, I mean by Lele Boxing, you by seven Zook defend, then you're going to need a striker like Ukele, who's good on the box in finishing off the chances. Now, I know Guti Utupri is also good at finishing off chances, but it's much better when it's moving and it's running behind defenders. By that, it helps the team to have different options because you have one player that also sees a model like against the Sundowns. Sundowns is playing high line and then in Jake Mestel and Poshna Sundowns, that's what we saw what to prove to specialize more behind the defenders. But if you are playing against a team that's gonna sit deep like in what's this team for instance? Uh Bona Futi Stell and Posh Stell and Posh is exactly a team that sat deep when we played them. And you're gonna need a striker who is going to be on the box and finishing off chances. Now, there might be other things that Uzuane meant by saying we need a striker, a Sofiti styler, and all that stuff. I understand that, but I'm just saying, Guti, I think we do need options and different options. But do let me know, guys, Guti Nina, what do you think? Do you think we should insist on having players ABA similar in every way? Because I do not think so. Anyway. Moving on, Mpatele seems like he's going to be playing for Mazulu in the next season, which is good for him. I'm happy when I see players like the Lele Chiefs putting up in Jamaat discards that end up not doing anything, but it's good. Ukuti, they're finding teams as well. And also another thing, it seems like a shooting project of starting a women's team or buying a women's team, it's up to... Now, Uban, 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 who came to town, who also said that, um, what's this thing? Who said that the women's team will be launched this season, which would be great. And I hope they are not going to then say, ah, oh, we are facing difficulties because I'm in the Royal AM, just bought a ladies' team, and the Royal AM 
a team that was in being a Kokangako, a Tennessee heavyweight to a point to Guti. They have a women's team, but Royal M has done it. So surely, Nati, we can just go and find a team and buy them and then try and solve and make the team better. Because Landy Ogut, we don't have a women's team. See, team in Kulangaga, I just don't get it, okay? So I hope with this process can now be accelerated. Sibone is into getting better. And guys, Sakulumang is into getting better. Please vote for Usam Kelsey. Where Tembo, I will leave the link on the description and i'll also pin the comment it's free if you're on facebook just click on the link and then it will take you to the place where you will vote and then you can just vote it's free if you're on facebook i appreciate it a lot thank you for watching and until next time remember ecos and pelumon